Jack on the turn, and now Mike does have... He jams. Yo is still loving this spot, I'm sure. Yo, they're not the bots. Toot me! Won a 3,000 person free roll. Cash for $27.50, first place. Now over $66, congratulations. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no, 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 okay. Notice your viral calling with King Jack offsuit from the button, which is interesting. He does flop best on King AD. Ron C. Betts. And your calls. Ooh, six for Ron here on the turn. Six from out of nowhere. Ron bets half pot. Doesn't look that strong. Looks like a sizing he might use with a, with a king. Or with clubs. And let's see what he does here on the river. 4,000. Pot. 4,000 into 4,000. And I think an issue for Yo is that even if Ron is overplaying a king, it's not likely that Yo is ahead. He does make the fold and pretty quickly. Nice fold for Yo as Ron. Yo raises it up with pocket queens. Interesting flop, top set for Yo. Open ender for L. So if he picks a spot like this to start bluffing, this pot could get quite big. Third pot here from Yo. Just a call from L. And now Mike's gonna raise. I didn't see that coming. So Mike does have some back doors. It seems pretty ambitious. And Yo has to be salivating. Mike doesn't have a ton behind. Yo might want to think about here is not necessarily how best to get Mike's money, but how best to get L's money. And I think the way to do that is to call. He does call and keeps L in the hand. So L is going to continue as well. Jack on the turn, and now Mike does have a flush draw. He jams. Some straights did come in on this turn, but Yo is still loving this spot, I'm sure. Mike's shove is for about pot. Gets the call from Yo. No outs to the nuts. He lets it go. And they'll run it once. Nothing there for Mike, and Yo takes down an $11,500 pot after flopping top set with pocket queens. Yo calls on the button, 10-9 off. Queen 6-6, six, six, pretty good board for Mike. That's small. Yo is going to float here. Mark does turn the best hand. I think now I like checking or betting small. Mike beats Yo into the pot now that Yo is taking the lead here. Now, let's see what a sicko like Yo is going to do. Three clubs out there. Seems hard to me to get called by worse. Also seems pretty hard to get folds from better. But Mike, have, Mike has the w one type of hand where it might be possible for Yo to get paid off. It really makes no sense 
or not much sense for Yo to just have a 10 here, but he certainly could have a flush or a six, really. And Mike does pay it off. Two consecutive people in the chat over on Twitch saying easy call and then and then the next one saying easy fold. I think that's that's one of the more interesting and perceptive folds I've seen on live at the bike in quite a while. The most famous guy Boat here for yo. Trying to give away your hand with the most famous guy in poker. <laughs> the bomb pot. Well, I mean he must anyway. One or two times? One Jens all in here. Rough spot for her. And somehow they're gonna chop it up. She was drawing dead to an ace. That's going to be a chop. Wow. So Yen gets rescued by the river. You had a lot of fun. Aces for Yo. Ideas, right? Queen 10 deuce. Oh, you don't want to fuck that up. No, it's in front of the way you can't get. Probably going to pay off at least one bet here. Maybe two. She also has the ace of clubs in her hand. Yeah, of course. Although the way the Clippers have changed their logo in recent years, it kind of looks like that, huh? A little? I I have season tickets for since 98. I'm going on Tuesday. You going to go? Club on the turn. Interesting card. You'll make so many. I saw the whole season. Because I have Lakers, Clippers, and Kings. Okay, got it. Where are you going to sit? Uh, they were given to me, so they're really good seats. <laughs> yeah, I won't say. But, no. but I didn't. I didn't buy them anyway. So Christina leads at this, which is pretty interesting. But I, get, I, I have premier. And the key to that is that she has the ace of clubs in her hand. No, but I have the season ticket for Lakers, Clippers, and Kings. Yeah. It's 50k for two seats. You're not done with this yet. Oh. And Christina Rivers oh, trips. Just, really good. And I'm just saying it, don't be cross. Yeah, yeah. I have to, uh, yeah, yeah. But you sold it. I still have no idea. Checks are interesting. Oh, yeah. I saw the season. Oh. So we've seen Yo go for some very thin value at times here tonight. Um, no. Not really. See if he wants to do that uh, this time. You know what is fun? Because I'm with kids. I, I went with my son since he was like three years old. And if he does bet, what Christina decides to do in response, I assume call. What are you saying? Yeah, she's not going to consider a raise here, just a call. And so Christina. Gets probably the best possible river card. Checks it over after leaving the turn. Christina raises a couple calls. That's the flop. And Yo checks back as the top card pairs on the turn. Mike's gonna try to get his ace clean to showdown. Big bet from Yo on the river. Don't know the exact amount, but it's pretty close to the size of the pot. Yeah, almost 3,000 gets snapped off by Mike with ace high. Yo, by pocket nine. He's gonna take down a 9K pot. My, uh, my two car ports. Seven. Seven. They weren't very sturdy, but. Wow, so a limp from Ron. Just one straddle on this time. Yo makes it 700. And Ron calls. So Jack's pretty sneaky here. And Israeli Ron flops top set. Middle pair for Yo, who quickly checks it back. Ace on the turn. Ron checks, and I like that a lot. 
Yo should Toute have a vie. smile lock. Boy, this checked all the way down to the river, and Yo makes trips, and they are no good at all. We've seen in the past that Ron does like to slow play. Yo likes to bet big sizes. So it'll be interesting to see what happens when Yo bets a big, big size here and Ron raises. He just calls? He just called. So Yo overbet, which I expected, and Ron just called with Jack's full after it went check, check on the flop and check, check on the turn. Ron just goes check, bet, call on the river. I didn't even hear you guys. <laughs> I'm just a smiley guy. I really didn't even hear what you guys said. <laughs> oh. And then that's why they were going to bump up. Good, Marvin. Oh. Supporting that I to know. get called there. Like, yeah. I don't block, like, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. I don't have any pair yeah. there. And he you doesn't get, have any pair. And he... You get called so often there. <laughs> That's so brutal. Just picked oh, yeah. up a lot of big pairs tonight. Really well. An ace king for Yo. I was right. like, was... He's probably going to regret that when he sees what happens next. Just a call. Nine, nine, six. It's also a board that a lot of players will see bet. 25. And Yo calls, wow. So 9,000 in this pot now. Let's check, check very quickly on the turn. And an ace on the river, wow. So Yo gets there. We could have definitely seen a bet on the turn, but. Ron checked it back quite quickly. And now Yo bets over the pot. And it's a quick fold from Ron. So these two players keep battling. Let's see our chip counts. Don't forget, we'll be back tomorrow. 100, 200, 200. I'm Charlie Wilmoth. Alors je suis Alexis, j'ai 26 ans et ça va faire maintenant 8 ans que je joue au poker. J'ai gagné le Platinum Pass il y a 3 ans et du coup je me suis dit qu'il y avait un grand besoin de se former. Euh, et je me suis inscrit à Poker Pro, ce qui m'a permis de pas mal progresser sur mon jeu. Alors, ça fait deux ans que je suis sur la formation Poker Pro. La formation, elle m'a permis de, bah, de progresser notamment au niveau stratégique, euh, définir mes ranges en fonction de mes bébés. Euh, ça m'a permis également de euh, mieux gérer mon stress et mieux gérer ma bankroll. Je souhaite passer ce message, euh, tout le monde, formez-vous avec la formation Poker Pro. Ça va vous permettre de progresser, d'améliorer votre jeu et pourquoi pas atteindre des tournois comme le PSPC un jour. Jamais j'aurais pensé pouvoir arriver jusque-là et pouvoir rencontrer tous les pros.